I'm Jack Foster. And I'm Joe Cave. Happy Wednesday, Hoyas. Welcome back to another episode of HSPN. In today's episode, we'll talk about baseball's region play from Lily and Tao, followed by our soccer senior night from Gabe and McKenzie. After that, we'll take a look at our lacrosse senior night from Arsh and Alicia. And lastly, we'll hear from our tennis team from Yasmina and Kayla. We have exciting sports news this week, so stay tuned and we'll be right back. I hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday. A lot of our teams have played this past week. And successfully too, might I add. Our varsity track team had their county meet this past Saturday and Monday with Grayson Swingley and Bryce Brownlee placing top two in the 800, Sterling Seller placing second in the 3200, Kate Curtis placing third in the 800, Natalie Harris placing second in the 300 meter hurdles, and Bella Hillary placing third in the pole vault. Following that, our baseball team had a match last night against North Paulding and unfortunately lost with a final score of 8-3. They look forward to bouncing back on their ne next game at North Paulding, however. Let's go to Lily and Tao to hear about our team's region plays. Throughout this month, our Harrison Hoya baseball team has made their way through region play, competing in series against Hillgrove and Marietta. The team has been hustling, playing an impressive six games in the span of only 10 days. No matter the outcome of the games, this team has been pushing to get better every day and overcome adversity. The Hoya baseball team looks to continue their region play and bounce back against North Paulding, who are currently 10 to 4 in the region. With HSPN, I'm Lily Herring. Thanks, and good luck to our baseball team tomorrow. In regards to our seniors, soccer had their senior night last night, taking home a win, scoring 8 to 0. Our boys soccer team played Marietta last night and took home a victory of 2 to 1. Let's hear more about that from Gabe and McKenzie. Last night, we got a look into our girls and boys soccer senior night, which they both came out victorious, with the girls a score of 8-0 to zero and the boys a score of 2-1. to one. They got to celebrate all of their seniors as they walked across the field. And we got a chance to talk with some of the seniors, Emily Nooney and Bailey Rouse, as they gave some advice to some of the younger classmen. Um, I've gained a lot of friendships and I've learned about leadership and how to treat each other and it's just been like a really good overall team environment. Um, I've learned about how important positive team chemistry is and that like you should be playing for each other and not as much as for yourself as an individual and that you can be a leader without a title. Congratulations to all of our seniors, and good luck as you finish up your region play. With HSPN, I'm Mackenzie Hunt. What an amazing night representing our seniors on the soccer team. Congratulations on your win, and we hope to hear successful news from our rising Hoyas. Speaking of our senior Hoya lacrosse, had their senior night the other day, and Alicia and Arshay got a chance to speak with some of the highlighted players from that night. Let's hear more about that from our lacrosse team. Hey Hoyas, this is Arshika Shore with HSPN. Both our girls and boys lacrosse teams came out on top against East Coweta on senior night last Thursday. Seniors Sophie Austin and Taylor Amade both got the chance to reminisce on what they'll miss the most about being with Harrison Lacrosse. My favorite memory is probably just like the team bonding. Just like we all get along so well. Like just like bonding with like especially all the underclassmen. It's just I love everything about this team and it's really sad that this is my last year. I'll probably miss the friends that you make, honestly. And like because growing up and like playing with all these girls, like they've become some of my closest friends, so that will definitely be the thing that I miss the most. With so many of our Harrison athletes moving on next year, don't forget to enjoy these last few weeks together and come out to support your Hoyas. With HSPN, I'm Arshi Kishore. A congratulations to our seniors playing and to the boys who won their game last night against Woodward Academy. 
to the girls team who won last Thursday against East Coweta 16 to 2. Moving on to boys tennis, Kayla and Yasmin to recap the latest tennis tournament. So let's take a look. Hey Hoyas, I'm Kayla Wright with HSPN here to bring you all things Hoya tennis. This week our tennis team had a tournament against Sequoia, River Ridge, and Walton. To win a match, the team needs to have three players win. The team won against Sequoia 3-0. The team also won against River Ridge 3-0. And they sadly lost against Walton 3-0. Congratulations to Jason Lim for winning all of his matches. That's all for today, Hoyas. I'm Kayla Wright, signing off. Congratulations to Jason Lim on his wins and to the tennis team's overall success. Before we move on to calendar, here are the standings as of this week. Boys soccer is 5-10 overall and second in the region. Girls soccer comes in at 11-3-1 overall and first in the region. Baseball is 6-14 overall and fifth in the region. Boys across is 8-6 overall and second in the region. Girls across is 8-5 overall and second in the region. And boys volleyball is 4-2 overall. Finally, boys tennis is 15-1 overall and first in the region. Now let's go to Yasmina with calendar. Hey Hoyas, let's see what we have going on this week. Starting off tonight, we have JV Boys Golf playing at the Dogwood Golf Club at 4. JV Baseball is playing Hillgrove at 555, and soccer will be playing against Hillgrove well, as well. The girls will play at 6, and the boys at 730. Tomorrow, Baseball will play at North Paulding at 555. Boys Lacrosse will be playing at Hillgrove at 730. Girls Lacrosse will be playing against Hillgrove at 730 at home as well. JV Baseball will be playing at Hillgrove at 555, and JV Boys Lacrosse will be playing against Hillgrove at 530. Along with their match today, JV Boys also have another match tomorrow. Moving on to Friday, we have our varsity track and field team competing at Woodstock Distance Carnival at 4. Baseball will play against North Paulding at 555, and boys and girls soccer teams will be playing at Hillgrove at 6 and boys at 8. That's all we have time for this week, Hoyles. I'll see you next time. Thank you.